You know, whenever something like this happens, I always ask myself, would I be prepared to deal with this right here? I think of the numbers that I would need, as in the phone numbers and the policy numbers that I would need. And like probably many of you, I have all that stuff in a file cabinet. It's neatly labeled and all, but what if it was all in this room, right? Underneath the tree and you can't get to it. So here's my thought for me, for you. It's not really earth shattering, but if you haven't done it, you're gonna want to. Take pictures of your insurance documents. That's right, your policy numbers, your agent's number. You get the gist of what I'm talking about here. It wouldn't hurt to add your medical insurance, car insurance, mortgage info, your car loan info. This way, if your roof blows off and all your documents go with it, you have all the info in one place. You can save the pics into an album for easy reference. Also with your phone, turn the video on and do a quick home inventory. Now this helps you figure out what really needs to be replaced and to have the evidence to back it up with your insurance company. Which brings me to this. If your home is insured for $200,000, uh, the inflation guard that's already built in is 25%. It makes the total insurance coverage $250,000. Problem is, the cost of labors and material that has gone up because of inflation has outpaced that 25%, which means today it might cost you $400,000 to rebuild that same home. But you know what? You're not insured for this amount. And that's how much insurance is going to pay the 250, not the 400,000. You need to reevaluate how much your home is insured for reconstruction. It's going to make your premiums go up, but we want to pay your claim when you have one. We want to pay it right.